everybody, Adam here, and today we are talking about the top five mistakes most brands make when they work with 3PLs. This video was made with the help of our friends at Ocelot Logistics. So Ocelot's a food and beverage friendly 3PL and we'll put their contact info down in the show notes. The first mistake we see most often is around shipping costs. So outbound shipping costs are gonna make up anywhere between 60 and 75% of your overall fees with a 3PL. So it's really, really important that you focus there and that you spend most of your time operationalizing and optimizing around those costs because things like receiving fees and storage fees just pale in comparison to your outbound shipping fees. The second mistake that we see most often is around tech integration. So you go through the whole process of onboarding with a new 3PL only to find out that they don't integrate with any of the tools and technology that you use to run your business. And that means that you'll end up doing a lot of manual entry, a lot of stuff will slip through the cracks, and it just won't be good for anyone. So it's really, really important that before you sign an agreement, you make sure that the tools that you use integrate seamlessly in with your 3PL. The third mistake that we see most often is around inventory management. Without sound inventory management, you're looking at out of stocks and your 3PL should really be committed to making sure that doesn't happen. So you wanna make sure up front that they are providing you with, with frequent inventory reports and that's not something that's gonna be tedious for them. The fourth mistake that we see most often is around packaging. So there's nothing worse than when your packaging shows up at a customer and it's damaged or it's full of a bunch of environmentally unfriendly materials. Your 3PL should really help you with all that. They should help you select the best materials for the environment to eliminate waste and they should help you select materials that streamline your shipping and therefore minimize your shipping costs. So they shouldn't just pick and pack your product, they should also help you select the packaging that, that that product is being shipped in. The fifth mistake that we see most often is around specialization. So 3PLs specialize in different products and different industries, and you wanna work with one that knows the rules and regulations and various equipment needed for your specific products. Because if you end up with one who doesn't, that's gonna end up being very costly in the long term. Oh,